Kong with the latest. And Christy, this is significant news, right? Very significant. We've been monitoring the press conference, which I believe is still underway. In the last half hour or so, Hong Kong's top leader, Carrie Lam, has announced new changes to the city's tough zero COVID policy, a policy that has isolated this once thriving international business, logistics and aviation hub. In the last half hour, she announced a number of changes, including this. The flight bans on nine countries, including the U.S. and the U.K., will be lifted starting April the 1st. She also announced that a mandatory 14-day quarantine for most incoming travelers could be lessened or lowered to at least seven days, depending on the country of origin and the vaccination of the traveler, that to kick in starting next month. But a host of tough social distancing, zero COVID measures may remain in place, and they won't be revisited or relaxed until after April the 21st. Among them, you have the ban on social distancing, the ban on social gatherings of more than two people. Schools remain closed. A number of businesses like gyms, cinemas, bars remain closed. There's an estimate that 50,000 small businesses in Hong Kong will be shuttered because of the fifth wave of infection, because of the zero COVID policy that's in place here. That is the reason why we have seen this max mass exodus of tens of thousands of people leaving the city in recent weeks. It prompted Carrie Lam last week to concede that there was an issue, that public tolerance had reached a limit. We have the statement for you. And she name-checked the financial sector in particular as being um, the catalyst for this change. She said this last week, I have a very strong feeling that people's tolerance is fading. I have a very good feel that some of our financial institutions are losing patience about this sort of isolated status of Hong Kong as Hong Kong is an international financial center. Now, on Sunday, Hong Kong reported just over 14,000 new cases of COVID-19, the lowest number in nearly a month. But the number of deaths caused by the virus continues to rise. Recently, Hong Kong has set a world record in terms of the rate of COVID-19 deaths. Hospitals remain overwhelmed. Morgues have reached capacity. There is a shortage of coffins here in Hong Kong. And I want to show you this image a series of very disturbing images that have been circulating across Hong Kong and causing much distress to residents here. People are horrified by what they're seeing on your screen right now, showing body bags piling up in COVID-19 wards next to elderly patients. The Hong Kong Hospital Authority was forced to address the situation, said that the situation, quote, has been rectified. Many of the COVID deaths in Hong Kong are due to the elderly not getting vaccinated before Omicron hit. And even though we do get this welcome news of these new measures being relaxed. The damage has been done. Images that you've seen here, the high death rate has caused trauma and sadness to this once great world city. Back to you. Absolutely, Christy, and so chilling. I know people have been afraid to go to hospital because of those kind of images uh, that you just brought to us. Christy, I really appreciate the update. Thanks so much.